Okay everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel today on GT Sport. We're back with a track guide for the new manufacturer's race coming up on Sunday at St. Croix B layout, the proper way round in the Group 4 machinery. So this is a track that is actually looking very, very strong for the McLaren. I think it's actually going to be quite strong for a, quite a few different cars. It looks like um, the Alpha 4C and the Megane will actually be a little bit OP due to the tyre wear issue and you have to use hard tyres, so them cars are going to be very strong. However, there are still cars that are going to be competitive. I think the Cayman, the McLaren, the Jaguar, um, the Mercedes. These cars with um, just a longer run on the hard tyre should still be able to get a solid result due to the straight line sections on the track. However, the McLaren is looking strong. I think the Ferrari will be strong here. It's Again, it's going to be quite a um, wide open BOP. I think the Lexus will be very strong. So hopefully there will be a number of cars that will be able to compete at this track. I think the FF cars are really going to suffer again with this layout because of the tyre wear. They're probably going to have to go for a two-stop strategy. Probably go in um, maybe two runs on the soft and then go in onto the um, harder tyre or even doing medium and then onto the hard tyre that might be an option for them and just leave the soft tyres out and try and hang in on the slipstream for the majority of cars it's looking like a one stop race we did do a practice of this race yesterday and the one stop seemed favourable over the two stop in my personal opinion the two stop can work if you're out at the front and you can break the slipstream early on then yes the two stop could possibly work however the pit lane loss is looking like around seven seconds total loss of time for taking tires now the mclaren can pretty much do this flat out it just requires a tiny bit of short shifting and um, pretty much none at all it's, it's basically just a couple of um revs short on each shift then you'll be fine which won't lose the mclaren any speed at all some cars might require some fuel saving like the ford possibly and some of the other cars that are not quite so great on fuel and um, megan for example is really good so you can drive that flat out i think all the way through the race um, and it is actually pretty strong on this track so let's go into this track guide point out some of the braking points the um, areas where you need to be cautious and lifting off the throttle etc to get a good lap time out now this lap was done very quick i this isn't a track I know particularly well, however the McLaren is feeling very strong here so it didn't take me long to get a reasonable lap in. This was done yesterday I think it was within about 20 minutes so it's got a lot more potential than this. So let's go into turn one, looking out for the 100 board. This is your braking reference into turn one. Now you're going to hit the brakes pretty much dead on that, you can see the braking inputs going in now. And then you're going to be looking to turn it in nice and early into turn one. So what I do is use a bit of the curb on the left to widen the angle. And then you want to get your right hand tire to actually go over a little bit of the green Astro on the right hand side. You'll see that now. Right hand tire onto the Astro and then on the throttle very early. Powering out of the corner using the curb on the left. Make sure you're using the full width of the track. And then flooring it all the way now into the next braking zone. So this corner now is completely flat. Just get it in nice and smoothly. Turn into the apex and get the car in a straight line before you put in the brakes on. Now again, the 100 board is going to be your next braking reference. You can actually brake a little bit past it as I do here, but I actually braked a fraction too late. You want to be, it's just so close. You've got to be very gentle and um, delicate about how late you take that braking zone because if it's just a bit too late, you can see how I've missed this apex now. And I would have rather have been where the marrows are, accelerating through the corner and powering out. Now I'm running a little bit wide. However, we have managed to carry reasonable speed through the corner and come out of that corner with a reasonable exit speed so it could have been better maybe half a tenth to a tenth loss there but nothing drastic as we now go into this very tricky section this is one of the trickier sections on the course you really want to get it into this as soon as you see that apex appearing you want to be starting to turn it in and get it into there nice and early a lift off the throttle very important for me personally i like to do that to get the weight transfer onto the front wheels take it off of that under steering way through this corner and then through here you're going to see you want to line this up to be basically taking a straight line as possible again you're gonna to have to keep lifting off that throttle braking inputs going in through the middle of the apex there and then try and get your left hand tire to hug that apex and again as soon as the car's in a straight line you'll see the braking inputs are going in already and we're going to try and widen the line into this corner so you can see getting it over to the left then chucking it in and trying to get the right hand tire as close as curb as possible. You try not to hit the curb because it will unsettle your car. You'll see my car become a little bit unsettled because I clipped that curb. Um, you really want to do it as smooth as possible and get as much exit speed over the bridge as possible. Doing it reasonably well though. Managed to get fourth, getting power out of that corner quite well. And now we're going to be looking for the next braking zone, which again 
is in between the 150 and the 100 you're going to see it pop up now so where that what the the circle filled in in white that is pretty much where you're going to break so you'll see there breaking inputs going in now just in between the 150 and the 100 board and just be careful not to break too late for this corner because it's off camber breaking late will just send you off into the barrier so making sure you get that breaking spot on downshift into third gear hold a very tight apex again then on the throttle as early as possible it's important that you get on that throttle and stay committed to the throttle if you back off of it sometimes it can cause more understeer so bear that in mind through that corner and then through this long long right hand corner you're going to just hit the brakes around about this point now this little bit of tarmac that is used as your braking reference that is why that bit of tarmac is there i think because there is no real braking reference so they sho shove that in there to give you a reference of where you need to lift to get the perfect angle through this corner and then accelerating out the corner as much as possible We're trying to get as close to the barrier as possible so you're maintaining speed all the way through that corner accelerating down this long straight into seventh gear obviously in the mclaren not all cars have seventh gear and this track really is suiting the mclaren i think because of the gear and you're hitting the peak power band at the end of the straight just look at this pretty much peak power and then you're coming into the braking zone which again we're going to use a 150 board this time circled there in that red circle and dead on that pretty much hitting the braking inputs now and again you need to widen the line into this corner this is a, one of the other tricky corners on this track i feel downshifting it into third gear and again once you see that you're going to hit the apex you can start putting the accelerating throttle back in you'll see that i can see that's gonna i'm gonna clip that apex nicely on the throttle nice and early a little lift through the corner just to be safe and then flat out now through this really fast flowing section really when you hook this section up the car feels amazing however you need to be very cautious through this point now when you come to the top of the hill here you're going to make sure you need to come off the throttle just slightly this is going to transfer the weight onto the front tires and give you momentum all the way through this corner and again you need to keep that left hand tire as close to these curbs as possible it's going to give you such more um, apex speed coming out the apex and onto this straight and working your way into the final corner which again we're going to break at the 100 board so as we approach the 100 board there you'll see that is the reference you're going to use as a braking reference into this final corner very fast corner this down into fourth gear you don't want to go down to third stay in fourth gear or depending on your car it might be third gear obviously in the gearing and really keep a lot of momentum and speed through this corner it's I took this a little bit easy, you can see I took it very safe, plenty of space on the left, didn't push it too close to the barrier on the outside because you have to be careful you don't hit that barrier, obviously it will ruin your lap, but going over the line with a solid 2 minutes 15.6, so a lot of time left in that, I think the McLaren can get into the 2 minutes 14 if I was to push this really aggressively, but with it being FIA, there is not much need to do that so you can see again using that green astro and all the track width on the x it's so important to use the full track width around this track because it's got such fast corners and um, very wide track it's going to be really open to overtaking opportunities there's going to be a lot of slipstream around here i think a lot of cars are going to be able to stay in the slipstream because with the current slipstream of 1.5 seconds it's going to really enable some of the slower cars with better tire wear to be competitive around this track and obviously because of the nature of the track being very fast corners cars like the Megane hold a lot of speed through fast corners as you see using all the track again this corner widen it before entering in and see that little clip on the curb unsettled the car a bit but we got away with that and yet the Megane the Alpha 4C Toyo TT6 I think will be very competitive here and very hard to beat with their tire wear and the exit speed they carry from corners so they may be weaker on the straight but they're going to carry the speed through the corners so it's going to make them very hard to get out of your slipstream and also very hard to beat with the tire wear so again into this long right hand corner you're going to see using that little bit of tarmac where it changes color there as a little reference to lift off and trying to bite that apex you want to get as close to the barrier on the right hand side as possible to give you as much exit speed all the way down the straight and that is a very important corner one of the most important corners on the track for your overall lap time especially if you can get in a slipstream for this straight as well um, you're going to gain so much time in qualifying it is going to be a fuel burning and a slipstream qualifying session this if you can get a slipstream with someone fast it is going to benefit you massively because um, it's pretty easy to stay in a slipstream around this track and the advantages are going to be easy to see as we go into that really fast flowing section you're going to see what i mean about lifting off the throttle and biting it in just watch how the car will bite in as we lift off the throttle at the top of the hill there little lift off getting the car to bite in a little lift again and hugging that apex as much as possible and carrying a lot of speed doing that really well and then into the final corner breaking on that 100 board down into fourth gear 
hugging the apex again, clipping the apex, accelerating out of the apex and all the way down the straight and over for a solid lap. Anyway, I hope this track guide has helped you out. Make sure you hit that like button. I do appreciate every one of you that hits the like button. And obviously the subscription button on screen at the moment, click that and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and hit that notification button so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks again for watching everyone.